Now at 5.30, the inferno that led to the collapse of a Philadelphia interstate. The state's governor now says demolition work on the section of I-95 that collapsed will be done by tomorrow, and that's when teams will start working around the clock to rebuild the overpass. Workers will start by filling the gap and bringing it up to surface level. They will then pave over it so three lanes of traffic can reopen each way. Officials say a replacement bridge will then be built next to it. No word on how long that will all take. The highway overpass came crashing down after the truck carrying 8,500 gallons of gasoline crashed and exploded in flames under it. IT made is following what happened in Philadelphia. Indianapolis had a fiery tanker truck explosion of its own more than 13 years ago. That crash sparked the first ever federal recommendations to improve tanker safety standards in rollover crashes. I teammates Cody Fisher found out not all of those recommendations have been followed. The National Transportation Safety Board made 20 recommendations to improve safety in relation to this fiery crash at I-465 and I-69 in 2009. 11 of those recommendations have still not been implemented, but several have been. This is video shot by someone driving past the tanker truck explosion in 2009. The NTSB launched an investigation and determined the driver was going too fast, creating the rollover accident. In 2011, they made their 20 recommendations to improve safety for tanker trucks. They did put things in play that are taking place right now that's been implemented. Matt Freeman is a former state and federal hazmat crash investigator. He broke down some of the changes implemented following this crash in 2009. The definition of cargo tank was expanded. There were also changes to driver training. The entry level driver training, EODT, uh, was implemented as well. Uh, which included uh, the CDL requirements for drivers instructed on rollover prevention. IT Mate asked the NTSB how this crash and recommendations will impact their investigation into the fatal tanker truck crash in Philadelphia. In a statement, they said, the investigation involving the June 11 tank truck in Philadelphia is in its early stages, and we cannot provide comment comparing the circumstances to previous investigations and recommendations. Freeman broke down all the factors investigators will be looking at when they break down the Philadelphia crash. Maintenance in the vehicle, doing the inspections on the vehicle, and the driver was in full compliance. It will not be a fast process. It will take time. This isn't going to be an overnight uh, investigation. As they go through this and take their time, we'll hear more and more about it and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll find out what really happened. Freeman tells me that the tanker truck industry can be dangerous, but he also tells me that it is very safe because of how many regulations there are. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, IT Mate.